Cześć. Dzień dobry. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about the differences between Poland and USA in relation to family. Which I think is one of the most interesting topics, really, because mm -hmm. I, I don't think you ever discussed that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my background is I'm American and I've been to Poland like four times now. And I've been to the States a couple of times too. So it's actually nice because I also have this perspective on American family as a mm -hmm. Polish person. Yeah, so I guess, and vice versa with me. Yeah, so these are the two people who have a perspective on both. So I guess we can share our input, which will definitely enrich this video mm. and its content. So yeah, we basically said, you know, where we're from, but I want to add a disclaimer, which is that like, you know, this isn't 100% true for every Polish family and every American family. So before all the hate comments come in. Before the backlash. Yeah, before the backlash <laughs> entirely, just know that this is just from our perspective and we are sharing our own view. So it's basically very subjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one thing that I noticed going to Poland uh, a couple times now is that Poland seems to be more family oriented in like every way possible. Um, everyone seems closer, everyone seems like they're hanging out more. Right? Yeah, and I mean, when you see a Polish family, it's like we celebrate every single possible event together. Birthdays, name days, Christmas, Easter, mm -hmm. Every, every event, in mm. fact, in your life, which you consider to be very important. We just make use of every opportunity to celebrate together, no matter what is that. Mm -hmm. Might be even, you know, the day of the dog, yeah. and we're all gathering together to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> in the US, it seems like we're a lot more work-oriented here, in that, like, kind of... I hate to say this, but I feel like family is honestly put second compared to work. In so many different cases, and, I mean, this is just throughout, like, my friends, my family, and all that. Basically, Americans are more focused on their jobs and uh, like making money. Mm. I mean, pursuit of money, pursuit of happiness, all that stuff. Yeah, happiness, that's a good word. Because, <laughs> I mean, you work your ass off till you're like 60 or 70 and then you retire, you have plenty of money. But do you actually feel like you did something cool in your life right. except for working? Right, I know. Because, you know, side note, no one's going to even say, man, I, I wish I would have worked more when they're about to die, you know. And I have a feeling whenever you visited my uh, family, my home for mm -hmm. the first time, I actually felt you were kind of surprised or shocked. <laughs> That everyone is like so, um, yeah, welcoming, and they yeah, they, they was, started treating him like you know his own family member. I instantly. was so shocked <laughs> every every time. I am shocked, honestly. I visit. Yeah, like my mom. Very often, she has tears in her eyes when she sees yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, it's just. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't get that with my own family. <laughs> so, I mean, I even had, like, some family members kind of, like, not really show a whole lot of support for my relationship with my girlfriend. Basically, they just were not happy with him spending money on tickets mm -hmm. to go to Poland. Instead, they wanted me to just go to school, focus on school, and then just work. Okay, so we're basically just rambling on with points, but for the next point, we're just going to talk about marriage. Okay, so I was looking at statistics for both Poland and US in regards to divorce rates. And what I found was that the US is around 50%. And this is going down just because the millennials are actually not even getting married right now. But with that being said, Poland's divorce rate is around 30%. So it's much lower compared to the US. Yeah, I mean, in the US, if you think about it, it's every second marriage that gets divorced. Yeah. Wow, and okay, I yeah. mean, I get it why it's kind of lower in Poland, because whenever uh, you actually decide to marry someone, this is a lifetime decision. And also, I think a lot of Polish couples have this mentality of not easily breaking up if something, you know, is not really working out well mm -hmm. for you, but they try to fix the thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, which, I mean, this is like teachings of our grandparents, for the most part, because yeah. I mean, this this is something my grandmother was always telling me. First, try mm. to fix something, and if that is not really working, then make decisions. And personally speaking, my parents are divorced, and actually I think like all of my friends' parents have issues or are divorced or separated or there's just something going on. So like literally all of my friends have divorced parents or some type of issue in regards to that so that's just another thing i noticed in in that like in poland it seems like everyone's family is like super tight yeah. and if i think about that now 
I'm trying to think about some examples from, for example, my parents' generation, like yeah. their friends or neighbors, whoever. Yeah, do you even and, know anyone? No, I don't. I'm not able to give you an example of, you know, a couple that got divorced. Mm. Okay, so in the U.S., it seems like when you're kind of younger, like in your mid-teens, and especially when you turn 16, like right as you start to drive, you're kind of pushed into working and also pushed into leaving the home by like 18. So this is really common and it's almost socially taboo actually to stay in the house past 18 with your parents. That's just kind of like our society and our culture here. Like you're supposed to move out when you're 18 and you know, go live, you know, go live and I We don't, know. don't care about your future anymore. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of parents are pushing for, you know, the kids to leave by 18 typically. Wow, that's that's shocking. I actually remember whenever you told me the first time we were talking, mm -hmm. um, you were like, oh, I actually have a lot of jobs on my resume. And I was like, mm -hmm. wow. And you were just 20 at that point, two years yeah. ago. And I was like, wow, you know, I never <laughs> met a person that age that would be working so yeah. many jobs you know, in the past. Like, I think I started working at like 14 yeah. on farms and stuff. Non-existent in Poland. <sighs> yeah. I mean, people <laughs> usually start working like, you know, some easy jobs like mm -hmm. under the table, like in, I would say, high school. Yeah. In college, you know, I would say like 50% of my friends were working, but mm -hmm. the other ones were like, you know, just waiting to finish, you know, university and that's it. I mean, that here, like, the thing is, like, right as you graduate, you have to have some type of experience, usually on your resume of, like, at least something, or else you're not even going to get a job, even if you have the degree. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, um, going back to whatever you said the, at the very beginning, mm -hmm. um, in Poland, I feel like parents do not really want to kick you out of the house as soon as possible. Okay, so I feel like... Um, if you see, if you meet a person, mm -hmm. like a kid, moving out of their parents' house at the age of 18 or more, it's just because they wanted to do so on their own. Okay, so another example I wanted to mention is a very common stereotype in Poland, which is, like, the subject of so many jokes and all that stuff, like, you know, skits mm -hmm. and uh, stand-ups and mm -hmm. all of that. So basically the relationship, relation, I would probably should say, between the husband and his wife's mother. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? I'm with you. <laughs> so usually um, there is some type of uh, tension between the two. Uh, Mother-in-law is usually making some comments about the husband. Husband is trying to kind of talk back. This um, is so weird to me. Like, I didn't know this. This is not a thing in the States, at least, and I've never heard of it. Um, actually, I really like your mom. So, Sylvia, go home, chief. Oh, she's gonna love it. Yeah, your mom's cool. Yeah, that's that's good. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be happy to hear that. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I know this, like, on, on the example of my family, that, mm -hmm. I mean, not always the relation between, like, mother-in-law and the husband. Sorry, dad. <laughs> <laughs> is like, you know, perfect. And I mean, yeah. this is very common across Poland, if, if you ask people. That's why we have so many jokes and stereotypes about that crazy i i'll never understand that to be honest so okay and the last point we wanted to briefly touch upon is the thing it's hard to actually articulate that in one like sentence or one expression but basically um whenever you think about a family a polish family most of its members are living in one city mm -hmm. or town region I'm, i mean very close to each other mm -hmm. when you think about the american family States are so huge that you can actually pick whichever state you want to live in and... I have family even like out in Canada. And I mean, these distances are huge. You mm -hmm. cannot go and visit somebody like yeah. within an hour or two like we can in Poland. Alright guys, so that's actually all we have for these concepts. And if you have any more that you wanted to talk about or you wanted to share, then let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, dziękuję, dziękuję me, do widzenia. Do widzenia.